get it fucking canceled for that one for sure. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's sexy, man. That's just the uh, yeah. So this is a Walmart pack, by the way, guys. Uh, I picked up two. Hold on, hold on. Let's restart this. Come on. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> what else we got? Hold on. Let me do this the right way. Wah. Ah. Womp, womp, womp. Zero point. All right. Nice. Anything else good? Oh, Nightwing. Huh? All right. I know somebody who might want that. Hold on a second. Let me uh, get some. Yeah. Task Force Z. Bane looking all zombified. And, <laughs> and we'll be right back, folks. And on that note, we're going to have a uh, brief interlude. And we're back. <laughs> and we're starting the show. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Copy 801. I'm happy to be here. We're starting over from the beginning after those technical difficulties. And uh, let's see. You got one of these Walmart packs? You crazy <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> I got two. And one. What are was... we drinking tonight, baby? What are we drinking? Uh, well, I already drank it. It was uh, single malt scotch and a drink buoy. Yeah. Oh my god, you dropped that quick. Just... There's some big rocks in there though, man. I know how you like them big rocks, but you know. Everybody's got to get their rocks off once in a while. Oh jeez. <laughs> I mean you want to get those likes, you know? <laughs> As they say, mash that like button. Mash. Let's get this guy some cat food, you know? Oh yeah. Or we could pull a fill and you could gently caress it. Whatever she likes today. I, I like you a lot, but I'm not gently <laughs> caressing nothing. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Not even that Wonder Woman cover. Although it's close. Oh, no, no. Very close. <laughs> but we got Superman 78, number one. That's Ooh. a good one. That's pretty sick. That's. I like it. All right. Next. Shazam. Number one of four. Okay. From the pages of Teen Titans Academy. All right. Next. Task Force Z number two. Again. Bane looking all zombified and stuff. And the last oh, book. Zombies. Ooh. What's this? Oh, that looks nice. Superman and the Authority. Number one. How are you like the, the B authority cover? Stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I actually have this, so I have another one. Womp, womp, womp. All right. Uh, first off, we have... Oh, we're doing <laughs> unboxings. Yeah, we're doing unboxings. We have oh. this bad boy right here from the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, Inga Danga Durgan, guys. <laughs> Um, and I wish I could yeah. go to the Netherlands. It looks so cool there. Yeah, right. Me too. Oh, freaking hell. Jeez, don't hurt nobody. No, I ain't hurting anybody. Shout out to Spidey's Powder Tumblers for the sick freaking knife. Mr. Jose, everybody loves you. And uh, this and, is... And his chickens, too. And his Susie chickens. Man. Everybody, everybody fucking loves Susie. <laughs> and... This is courtesy of someone who I don't remember their name because it's escaping me. 
Hold on. Oh, that is this the is way from, to let them know. This is from care. Marseille Van de Vivier. One more time. Marseille mm -hmm. or Marcel Van de Vivier. It's V I J V E R. I hope I did not butcher that. I probably did. I am sorry. He ordered a mystery box from me. And he's known in like the comic foo sector. I call that like, you know, people who hang out with comic foo. You have him, Tim the Comic Collector, Squatchy Comics, Tony Fett, Magic Lasso, all these really cool people. And uh, he ordered a mystery box from me. And I ship international. So. I shipped him the box. I made no money on the box. Full disclosure, all the money that he sent me went straight to shipping. And oh, I did that because nice. there's a lot of people there's a lot of mystery boxes in the community, you know, there. And unfortunately, like international people cannot get in on it. And uh, I'm an all-inclusive guy, so I said screw it, you know? If I don't make any money off of like maybe 10 five boxes, I'm cool with that because you get books that you might not get anywhere else. It's so true. he's a good dude like that. All right. And we have a note. And it says, thanks so much for including the international comic community in your mystery box run. Seeing how much you spent on shipping, you did yourself short. So hereby I sent you a little A-OK -okay with books I'm sure you don't have in your collection, at least not this version. Your favorite character is a bit of a challenge over here because they only have small runs, and that's only with the A-list characters. So you have to settle with some cover exposure. Hope you like them anyway. Once again, thanks for the nice mystery box you sent out. Stay safe, buddy. That's From awesome, From Marseille Van de Vivier. P.S. Is that you in front of your house on Google Maps? Maybe. <laughs> I hope I not. To... Yo, if, I it's gotta... not, if it's not you in front of your house, that's even creepier. <laughs> Standing yeah, there, looking in your uh, windows. I gotta look. I gotta look at that. Maybe through the magic of editing, I'll put a photo of my house. <laughs> but uh, okay. So someone will find it real quick. Be like. So first one we have is uh, Superman One O Two, third Dutch volume, from nineteen. I'm guessing thirty nine to nineteen ninety six. This is Adventures of Superman Five O Two, Action and Comics. 659 and Superman Man of Steel 24 and it's got this cover. Oh, nice. And I love it because this is part of a uh, um I have the American cover to this. And this actually has a um embossed stamp on it, so I love it. Love it. Love getting these things. Superman 93, third Dutch volume. Contains Action Comics 674 and 673. And here it is. This guy knows your likes. Yep, I told him. Uh, this is from the Panic in the Sky storyline. And this is the prologue. So I actually know what this is from. Next, we have Superman on... Uh, 92, second Dutch volume. 1971 to 1981. Okay, World's Finest 251, Superman 307. And it's a Neil Adams cover. Oh, and it's a cover I don't have. Awesome. Cool. Get some leg action. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not a feet guy, but hey. It's still a cover appearance, so, you know. <laughs> and then we have Super... Then we have Supergirl number oh Superman number five, German Supergirl variant covered, limited to nine hundred and ninety nine copies, contains Action Comics four eighty seven and Supergirl number five. So I got a limited variant, guys, a thousand copies, and this is it. This is from Supergirl in the New Fifty Two. And this is the arc where she fights Rain. And that is so awesome that you sent me that. And that it's got a... And it's a limited cover, too. Ah. This is going in my foreign section. That is awesome. I love it. Dude, the oh, my goodness. so tight, right? Yo, I am quite happy, dude. 
I am quite happy, my dude. That is awesome. Also, the liquor's kind of kicking in, too, so my mood's just <laughs> getting better and better. But remember, folks, stay safe. Next one, we got a Kickstarter. So, um, so I went to Terrificon this past year, and I met Justin Gray. Amazing writer. He did a lot of work with Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor, who I also met at Terrificon. And he's got Kickstarters going on. And he does Kickstarters on, shall we say, adult books. Not like super adult, but you know. Like it's it, it's uh so his thing is uh spicy pulp comics. Let's call it that. And I backed his Kickstarter because I like the guy. He I support him. Um he was co writer or he um contributed to the writing of Power Girl from Pre New Fifty Two. And I really enjoyed that run. Uh, she's a badass character. And uh, she's a no-nonsense kind of person. And I like that. So, I backed his Kickstarter. And here we go. We have a cool lenticular along with a poster that I can't show because it's naughty. I didn't know that. So, we're going to do this. Pretty cool. And it is Spicy Pulp number six with Lady Redbeard. And I read, I've read issue one so far, full disclosure. I'm way behind on a lot of my reading. But it's fun. It's a funny story. And they curse. <laughs> and as far as I know, he autographs every issue. So I'm happy. I can't wait to read this. I really can't. One day, I'm going to have him on my channel. And I'm going to be like, what up, sir? Okay. Now we got this. So, uh, Lewis, you know about whatnot, right? I don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Oh, yes, I know. Bullshit. <laughs> but yes, I have heard very good things. Uh, what have I been doing on whatnot? I'm terrified to find out. Art germ collectibles. Oh. They are very, uh, very tempting. They are extremely tempting. And I have bought a good amount of signed Supergirl stuff. In case anyone has not seen my last haul video, take a look. Which is up on YouTube right now. And it is. So, I got something for me in here. Ever since I saw these covers, I wanted them. <laughs> you like that knife? Huh. I always like a knife. So, and of course, whenever you're done using it, put it back in because safety first. It's not as fun to uh, swing it out. Uh, absolutely. So, ever since I saw these covers when this first came out, I really enjoyed it. I loved it. Um, Art Germ is absolutely one of the greatest cover artists in modern times, in my opinion. He is my favorite cover artist. I will think twice about getting a book of his just for the cover. And this is part one of one of the covers. I need to get the second half of this. This is <clears throat> Tales of the Dark Multiverse, Judas Contract. Virgin variant, I believe limited to like 3,000 or 2,500 copies. Starfire. No. Oh. They have a Raven cover, which I'm searching for at a good price, just so I can get the pair. But, yeah. It's you got just, that signed? No, but you could tell it's Art Germ just by the signature. Dude, this cover is beautiful. I have the it's, regular version. But you're like, just zooming right in on that signature there, babe. <laughs> I, I know. It's in an interesting spot. But, like, let's be serious. It's, it's such a nice cover. It's beautiful. Yeah. And just so I'm not lying to you, yeah. DC Comics, there you go. Tales of the Dark Multiverse, Teen Titans, Judas Contract. All the Tales of the Dark Multiverse are so good. Such great books. I recommend everyone buy them. <clears throat> now, we got a box. Shaped like a box. Oh, what's in the box? 
another thing I've been focusing on. So um, I made a post about this, and it is the uh, the DC Comics Cryptozoic Crisis on Infinite Earths hard set. I found some cool stuff on eBay. I don't know why they included this. There's a straw. It's hard to get plastic straws now, man. Oh. But this is a good one. Like, this yeah. is a hard plastic straw. It's got the ring oh. right here. Like You dude, know I'm... something? A free giveaway is a free giveaway, man. You know? Listen, man. I'm keeping that straw. <laughs> Fuck the free giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. Um... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, my God. I know what this is. This is from Jose. Spidey's Powder Tumblers. I won a tumbler on a did giveaway. Oh. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. The new Copy 801 Tumblr. Yeah, buddy. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That is sexy as hell. And <laughs> I'm bringing this to work tomorrow. <laughs> That's why there's a straw. It makes oh sense God. now, see? Yeah. <laughs> it all makes sense now. And uh, hold on. We still got ice. So. Oh, God. All right. Pour just a wee bit. <laughs> Mazel tov. Mazel tov, indeed. Okay. This is from... This is what I was talking about. This one has to be. A lot of the other stuff hasn't been sent, honestly. I have not received a lot of my Cryptozoic card wins. And I'm quite upset about that. But that's fine. I did get, and this should be the base set. Yes, it is. So this is the base set. So the Cryptozoic cards are, the set is going for $300 for an unopened box on eBay. Crazy. Crazy. Considering the price to buy them regular retail is about 70 to 60 The card market is insane. And, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. But, I decided to get myself the base set so that way I would have it. And here it is. And it comes inside a really cool... Hard plastic. Is that very, from them very or somebody looked through it? Huh? Is is that from Cryptozoic or you got that no. off uh, eBay here? Okay. No, this is an eBay purchase because unfortunately Cryptozoic sold out very, very soon. They sold out shortly after they put them up. I was a day late because I didn't realize that the uh, that it came out. I didn't hear anything about it. And it came out, and it just kind of blindsided me. Yeah. So, I will not be showing all of the cards. That will take forever. I will show maybe ten of them. But, they are numbered. So, this is card one. And I believe there are fifty. Yeah, I'll show six of them. Yep, there are fifty. So, this is card number fifty. So this is the Justice League. And these are thick. These are very thick cards. So that's 50. Oliver's Legacy. Right over there. Diana Lance. We have... Hold on one second. Let me make certain that I am putting these the right way. Here we go. 49. A New Era. Daniel Routh, Superman. I love that. I really love that. Honoring the heroes. 
we have uh we have um Batgirl, we have Supergirl, Kara Zorel, and uh, we have her sister right there. Then we have Shrink Bomb. And again, another cool one with Supergirl and the Anti Monitor. Last Stand, the Anti Monitor. And uh, <laughs> Bebo Attacks. We have Bebo. So, just to put it in perspective, if you were to get these cards individually, they're $2.50. There are 50 cards. So, you'd be spending. Um, about 125 bucks for these. And I got a free freaking hard plastic card cover. Which I love. Now. This is a late edition. And I will not be using a knife. Use Guess what came? A knife. This was sent out two days ago. And I can't believe that it got here. I am still in awe. Oh, I, I know what this is. Okay. Yes, you know what yeah, this yeah. is. I am in awe that it made the trip halfway around the world in two days. I don't know how. I have never heard of a story where this thing gets that quick. The spice must flow. Yeah, well, I don't know what the hell they were doing, but... This got here. I have to cut the bag. <laughs> this got here all the way from halfway around the world in two days. Now, Lewis knows what this is. Lewis definitely knows what this is. You guys don't. You guys do not. Because I, if, if I were to tell everybody, then it wouldn't be a surprise. No, would it? Um, I'm trying to get Lewis to get a commission from this individual. I'd love to, man. My, my wallet's tight at the moment. It is more than worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I get to see her VO box in it. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, let me see this. Uh, the, uh, uh, this was just a surprise. It came in the mail today. I found it at home. I'm like, no way. Sitting in the snow. <laughs> so, all right. All right, let's see it. I had someone do a commission for me. Now, if you're familiar, um, I have featured sketch card girl, Clara Bioter from Hungary. No, Turkey. I'm sorry, Turkey from Turkey on my chat on my channel once before. I did a commission from her last year. I was amazed. She did a Supergirl with the angel wings, which I really loved. Oh, my God. It was beautiful. But then I got a, an idea for another Supergirl commission. And I, I brought this to Lewis. I said, yo, what do you think about this? He goes, yo, that sounds dope. That sounds awesome. So I said, screw it. And I asked her to do a commission for me because I saw a photo from someone, from another artist, and I really liked the style. So I had her do a commission. Now, originally she wasn't going to be able to do this because I didn't find a higher quality photo. I found one. She sent me, okay, it's going to look something like this. I said, okay, cool. The photo was zoomed in. Like, say my entire face is a comic book. It was going to be like this big. She goes, would that be okay? I said, sure. Yeah, I thought she was then, hard for you when you sent that. Mm -hmm. Then she sent me the first draft, which I sent to Lewis, and he was floored. We were both speechless. I'm never speechless. I was speechless. No, Lewis was speechless. She's, she's amazing. Then she sent the final version, and I sent it to Lewis, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. This is so good. And now you get to see it in person. Okay. Oh, Christ. This is, dude, this is even better in person. I got to show you. First, I got to take the tape off the top because 
you know, can't have that on a bag and board. All right, so I have a note. It says, thank you so much for your support again. It means a lot to me. I hope you love your new Supergirl cover, just as the other one I did before. Best wishes, Clara. Oh, dude, that's incredible. Freaking hell. She's a beast. Look at this cover. Look at this. So I yeah. saw a battle damage <clears throat> Supergirl, and I'm like, yo, can you do this? And she said no. So I picked one of my favorite moments from the Supergirl show, which was in the first season where she goes, and she's super angry, and she uses her heat vision against Red Tornado. And I said, can you do this? Can you make it battle damage and make her a little more muscular? Because she is actually kind of muscular. And because Melissa Benoist is the actress who portrays Supergirl in the show, I said, can you do it off of her? And I sent her the photo. She said no. Then I sent her a higher quality one. Then she said yes. And this is what I got. I mean, it's a robbery, man, because that's, that's a work of art. Let me, let me remove the other tape at the bottom just because, like, dude, look at this. Look at the definition in her neck. Yeah, I mean... The I'm gonna incredible. do. I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't do. Take it out. I know. I know. I'm crazy. What are you gonna do? Uh, you can't help yourself. You want to sniff that. Feel I don't know about it. that. <laughs> but like, look at this. That's amazing, man. Like, look at that. Now, when Melissa goes to a convention, next convention she's at, whether she's close to me. I'm going to have her sign this. You have to. And she's going to be like, what the hell? Who did you have do this? Where are you going to have her sign it? On the bottom part there? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> now. That's incredible, bro. Here's the reason. Okay, Pants. You got to. <laughs> okay. Give me one second before you open that one. I'll be right back. Thank you. All right. Oh, this isn't live, so we can take a. Uh... Oh, yeah. The cat was All just right. scared out of her freaking mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Just have to help with something. Yep. Now, while Lewis is out, another intermission. I swear to God, that gets me every time. But this is going to be edited, so that way, by the time that intermission's done, <laughs> Lewis will be back. So I can do whatever the friggin' hell I want right now. Boom.
Give me. Nah. Tell you all about it later. All right. Uh, Look at this big box. Oh my god! I just hit the light. That is a big box. You got a samurai sword. Nice. I. Uh, that's this good. It's about time. This is from Mr. Alex Garcia. What? He, uh, I figured out who it was from. And uh, so I have this really bad habit of having guests on an unboxing of mine when I have something for them. So just letting you know, something in here is for you. What? It better not be, man. Yep, I had to keep this secret from you for like two freaking weeks. Are you serious, man? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's he a says restraining it's... or... No. Yeah, all right, a big restraining You order. can't serve people through Zoom. So he sent this to me and he told me, he goes, I hope you like it. Um, it's for you and it's from Lewis. And uh, oh. <laughs> this is Alex Garcia. Alex, uh, yep, this is Alex Garcia. Well. All, right, uh, All right, so it's what the hell did you get, man? Dude, I said, "Dude, that's amazing!" It's a skateboard. It's a fucking skateboard, but <sighs> dude, <laughs> that is ridiculous, man. He's got one for me and one for you, dude. Thank you, man. Like, <laughs> that's why you were asking me to come on this. Yep. Man. I had no idea what it was. He goes, I thought, I think you'll really like it. I said, okay. <laughs> this? <laughs> man, that's... I don't know where it's going. Yeah, they're all right, man. Shit. Like, that, I, I've been having a rough week, man. I ain't going to lie. That, that's awesome, man. Dude, thank you, guys. I don't know where it's going. But I'll tell you one thing. Dude, it's going to go somewhere. Right on the fucking wall right there, man. Dude, and it's got the, you know, the, the, <laughs> the, uh, totally not ever on a t shirt image. <laughs> so, backstory, folks. So, Lewis turned me on to Alex Garcia and cool guy. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh, you got something from... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that deserves to be blown up. Oh, you had him do that? Yo, that is sick. No, he did this, and he's just like, hey, man, I know you love something's coming with children. Yeah, this guy is... This guy is awesome. He's... he's Man, there's so many guys in the community who are awesome, but he... he I gotta get him an okay. Insanely, uh, insanely talented. Oh yeah, he is. I'm gonna leave a script. I'm gonna leave a uh, link to him in the description. I will also leave a link to Sketch Card Girl in the description of this video. Insanely as well. talented, both of them, man. But so he contacted me about two weeks ago. He goes, "Hey, I got something for you and Lewis." I said, "Sure." He goes, "Can I send it to you?" And then you give it to him. I said, "Sure." He goes, "It's a surprise. Don't tell him." I said, sure. <laughs> so I had no idea what it was. I've been keeping this for about a week. Holy shit. And I haven't opened it. And I totally yeah. forgot what it was. And I actually <laughs> called you and I'm like, what the fuck is this? I have no idea what it was. And then I saw it came from FedEx. And this oh, I remember you saying you, 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 a package came. You don't know what it is. Mm hmm. And then. I forgot how. I went looking back and I saw him and I'm like, oh, this is what he sent. Dude. <sighs> and he sent it. Insane. And, uh, insane. 
Dude, it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And as a... So, backstory. About a year, uh, maybe a little less than a year, probably like six months ago, Alec Garcia was doing a bunch of stuff on Instagram. And he did a photo of Lola Bunny as Erica Slaughter. And she was chasing someone. And... I'm trying to find it. It was... So he did a photo. And, like, I comment on some of his stuff. And it was just... Let me, let me find it, too. That way... Alex... Garcia. Here we go. So he did a photo some time ago with Lola Bunny as Erica Slaughter. Yep, here it is. I said I said this fits way too well. Erica would totally be Lola Bunny. And then she he did another one. And it was, it just worked way too well. It worked way, way, like, way too well. It's incredible, man. So. He's still got the image up, right? Yeah. So I said, I sent him a message. I said, your Looney Tunes cover idea would be a sick idea for a real cover. You should contact Ross and make it happen. And he sent me the uh, black and white of it. Right there. He sent me the photo. And I said, that's sick. And I was like, and I said, you should do her in the forest with Gossamer in the background as a silhouette, as a something, as an homage to something is killing the children, number oh. one. Here's the message. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I'm trying to see where I've got it. I don't know if I've got it in here somewhere. And he goes, maybe. I said, that would be an awesome giveaway or a raffle. Just a sketch cover or that is a print. He goes, just a thought, I'll put it out as a shirt for those who want it. I goes, I'll have to take it down after a week. I said, yo, so many people would jump at that. He made a shirt. It got taken down in about 12 hours. I sent the link to, like, everybody who would possibly be into this. And... You know, people responded. They were like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, I should definitely get one. They took it down like 12 hours Again. later. Well, I knew I saw it right when it went up, and I was like, I should have bought more, man. I was like, well, I got to get I was like, I picked, I picked you up one. I got one for me. Yeah, so he, and he I was did like, that. I got to grab, grab a couple more, and it was just gone immediately. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, so they've really they really got at it. Yeah, so, Warner Brothers doesn't mess around, and it's like, oh. This was when I worked at the theater, so I didn't have really access to stuff at the time. So Lewis picked up one. He picked up. He got like, allegedly. Like, he got like two. Probably the only one that got out the door, because I mean, yeah, because I, so, I knew he was about to drop it, so I was like, oh, I'll get it right away. Mm -hmm. And I went back the next day to get some more, and there it wasn't gone. So the day of. Lewis went, he picked up one for me, and he picked up one for himself. And they were in black. So I had one, which I wore to Terrificon. Uh, no, to Baltimore. I wore it to Baltimore. And Lewis have one, has one somewhere. Yeah, it's and, in here somewhere. I was gonna, I've been meaning to put up like t shirts and stuff I get up there, but it's behind a bunch of sculptures, and I don't feel like digging through. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Just do it next time. Anyone who sends me a shirt, I'll put it up in my backdrop. I got to make a couple shirts for myself. <laughs> I'll make a few copy out of one shirts. Nice. Maybe I'll sell them during the uh, during something. I don't know. But So me and Lewis were the only people that got the Probably. shirt. Probably, man. Shoot. 
If I ever run into him, we're gonna get signed. Oh, dude, it was so good. It's such a great show. It's so good. And he did it too. He did it with Lola Bunny as Erica Slaughter and Gossamer in the background, just like a looming over yeah. the like near the trees. Yeah, no, oh. uh, some killing children one. Oh my god, I had so many people at freaking Baltimore just come just comment on the shirt. They're like, "Yo, that is an awesome shirt. That is so cool. That is so cool. Where can I get one?" I'm like, "You yeah, can." <laughs> he was such a cool guy. So dude, he's an cool. he's an awesome dude. He's and he's a good dude too. I mean, obviously, but um, I think when I was first hit, I I made a sculpture for him, and I was just it was even before I was talking. I was like, "Hey, man, you, you know, would you be interested? You know, is that cool?" He's like, "Yeah, make something sick, man." Mm-hmm. So I did one of his melting uh, melting mouse ones. I don't know what I'll do for him. We're gonna have to come up with something good. I might just go to my. I might just go to the shop, and just send him like, I don't know. But you can. Like, what, well, what you can do is just keep shouting him out. Oh yeah, and letting everyone know how awesome a dude he is and how ridiculously talented. I might just send him like ten blanks. <laughs> That's wishful thinking. I might do that too. Nah, seriously, man. Because these blanks, yo, if you don't they're get a good shop. By, yeah. yeah, they're hard to come by, and they're expensive as hell, dude. They like yeah, and if you miss they're them, like, they're pain to find. Oh, they're like eight bucks each, and I know our shop has them for like five. So if I tell them about it, you know, I'll be like, "Hey, I'm looking to get this for somebody. They did something cool for me, you know. Might get a little bit of a discount off of it. <laughs> hey, but hey, it's worth a shot. Listen, that's awesome. This is gonna go up." I don't know. I don't know where it's gonna go up. Uh, yes, like man, that is behind you, man. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. I I'm so <laughs> grateful, man. That's that's oh, awesome. Yeah. I yeah. Again, that just uh, that might pulled me up out of some mud there. I appreciate that. Oh, dude, it's so sick. I I would. Ooh, what's that? The crow? As I'm sitting here, I was hoping I... it would be. Uh, Dark oh, Knight. that's Batman. Yeah. I saw a crow at first. I don't know. I should do some crow. That might be a good one. That's a good one. That's a really good um, Dark Knight homage for, um, what's his name, Frank Miller? Mm-hmm. Oh. That was probably like the first comic book I ever read. Dark Knight Returns. First comic I well, ever like, read. Well, like I really read, not like, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's... Uh, that wasn't my first. My first was a one-off. So it was between five books. It was a one-off action comics, a one-off Batman issue, and then Do you remember which Clark. ones? I don't remember the number offhand, but I found them, and I have them, and I actually sorted them today at the unit. <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, number Good three heck, yeah. was the first part of Superman fighting Doomsday. Okay, that was early on too. And then the fourth one. Yeah, that we were I right around the same age, so I was like, that, yeah, exactly. 90s. So the fourth one was Death of Superman. That was the fourth one that I read. And there's another one that I can't remember for the life of me. But those four are the ones. Death of Superman. I must have read that so many times because my father had a bunch of books. He had a bunch of comics. He had like, not a bunch. He had maybe like seven or eight. I guess he tried it. And then he couldn't because, you know, he was kind of sickly. But he had those. And then I found them again. And now they're in my collection. That's awesome, man. Hey, it's and the stories that last forever, you know. Well, he also had a couple Marvel books, but I'm I'm gonna be honest. Like five year old me wasn't interested in them, and I don't know why. But five year old me was just kind of like, eh. 
and I just kind of swept them to the side. And then came the Justice League. And then came Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series in syndication. Then was the Justice League in like 1998, 1999. And then it was all downhill from there. <laughs> what? So, so Marvel never even had a chance with you. No. Didn't really. Even though, you know, you had X-Men and Spider-Man going out. Just You never got into the X-Men uh, cartoon? Nope. Spider-Man cartoon? No, no. Nope. Okay. No, no, I was I was like them too. I mean, obviously I'm Batman all day, but you know, I, yeah. Batman the animated series is what really got me into it though. That and Superman the animated series. Both of them That was were, good too. Oh, they were phenomenal. No, I I miss that whole uh, co the whole um you know, animated lineup. They were all so good. Like it's ridiculous how good they were. If they were to come out with something like that now, oh my god. I can't. I just can't. Well, like the Harley Quinn show. Dude, that show is phenomenal. It was really good, man. Are they coming back with season three, do you think? Oh yeah, they have to. It's HBO, thank God, so they're not gonna you know murder it too bad, I hope. Oh no. They'll be fine. I'm waiting for Green Lantern and Justice League Dark and the other stuff they got going out. They have Naomi. I haven't even watched it yet, but they have Naomi. Kind of curious about that. But once yeah. they come out with Justice League Dark and Green Lantern, all the people who like Marvel, they're all uh, showing off their books. Showing off their books. They're like, oh, my God, it's going to be this. It's going to be this. <laughs> oh, look at this new character. Then when Green Lantern comes out and they use some of the modern stories, I'm just going to be like, yo, here is my day. Your time is coming. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be sitting back just like this. Just like, <laughs> yeah. Let me post everything. The time is all approaching. But we have been going for 51 minutes, which is a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> And I have to help the girl out with something. So, dude, I'm, I again, I'm, you, you rock, man. Alex, you rock. Jose, everyone in the community. Oh, yeah. Everybody's freaking awesome. For, for real, man. I mean, as shit as the last two years have been, fucking love you guys, man. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for coming on. I'm glad you had no idea. I didn't. I didn't know. I was wondering why you kept being like, "No, oh, come on, you gotta come on, watch me open boxes." Like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. For you, I will. Well, I, I can sit I there had jealously you. watching you open up some awesome good books. Nope. <laughs> That's when you pulled you. out that thing. I was like, "What the hell is that?" I was like, "Would you buy a baseball bat?" <laughs> you know, it came from a sports store, so I thought it was a baseball bat for a second. I'm like, "That is so." I'm like, sick. I'm like, interesting. A baseball bat. Okay, I'll take no, it. Was, it was a machete with uh, something killing the children on for the next one. Mm. Might have to go south of the border for that. But <laughs> it took the Jose, man. See if we can get that laser <laughs> engraved on something big, you know. That's screwed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> one of these. Oh, I love how you just have that within arm's reach of you. I pity the man who decides to rob your house, but God, I hope no one does. Oh God! But yeah, um, I'll be seeing you this Saturday, so I will drop this off to you. That'll be awesome, man. Indie yeah, but you'll show, be the envy uh, of everybody at the show. Great South Bay Brewery, if you're mm -hmm. on Long Island, man, that'll be awesome, bro. I, yeah. uh, I have to. I'm gonna make something up by then. <laughs> I don't know when this video is gonna come out. Full disclosure. But probably it'll be out by next week, which will be Assume this week. I was very, for you. Yeah, very excited. <laughs> but man. yeah, go help your girl. I appreciate you, man. And uh, thanks, man. Thanks for surprising me, man. I, I, I needed that. Anytime, dude. And just for everybody else, I'm gonna have this guy's stuff in the description below as well. So that way, you know, if you haven't. You haven't heard of Lewis. Here he is. He does clay sculptures. He's a cool guy. And he's very fair. 
with yeah. pricing and with all the other stuff. And he's got there we go. There's an Erica Slaughter right there. Boom. There you go. I like how you're grabbing the waist. That's right. Respectfully. And Mossvale. Check it out on Kickstarter. Ageless Press. Boom. I'll have to put a description, a uh, link in the description below for that. You'll give that to me. And uh, on behalf of, uh, I guess, I don't know, me, I guess. <laughs> have a good night.